System.io have officially launched sub accounts inside of their platform. So inside of this video, what I want to do is show you all about the System.io sub accounts, how they work, what that actually be used for. There were a few limitations I came across. I was expecting it to be more like go high level, but it's actually slightly different. So I'll show you what I mean by that. And then hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know all you need to about system sub accounts. Now, just before we get into it, if you haven't yet got system, I've also got a bonus course I give away to referrals. If you want to grab that system accelerator course for free, make sure you join using the link in the description. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So first of all, this is the post from Aurelian, the founder of system.io. He actually posted this just nine hours ago. And basically what he's saying is with sub accounts, you now have the same limits as your main account. So if you're on the free plan, you can have 2000 contacts. Let's say you've got 500 already on the sub account, you actually get 2000 more contacts inside of it. So what this also means is if you're on the free plan, you can have unlimited free plan sub accounts. If you're on the unlimited plan, which is the max one, you can have unlimited 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 plans in the sub account too bit of a tongue twister so that's pretty cool let me show you actually what it means in a real life scenario so this is my test account it's just on the free plan if you now come to settings i'll just explain one more time so the four plans are here all of the plans are different based on limits so the free plan's got 2000 contacts if i now come to sub accounts underneath settings i can go ahead and create a sub account so i'll just call this test sub account okay Click on save. Oh, I'll just put two. Okay. Now it's created this test sub account. So if I go ahead and actually log into it now, you will see at the top, we've got this little switcher and inside here, there is absolutely nothing inside of it. You'll start again, basically from zero. Now the question I had, and I, I bet a lot of people have this exact same question is, okay, now I've got sub accounts. Can I sell it to people or can I get people to join um, underneath my main admin account? So what I decided to do was come to settings and then came all the way down to workspace members. Each time you add in a member, it would automatically add them as um, a assistant. So let me show you how it works. Funnelscene.com. Okay. Click invite. It's now going to invite them as an assistant. You can actually edit the role, make them an admin and click on save. And what I'm going to do is show you what it looks like when someone actually joins this brand new sub account. Okay, so I got an email, clicked on the link and it's brought up this page. I've just got it in incognito so I don't have to um, add anything. So I'll just put in my credentials real quick. Okay, email, new password, so forth. I'm not a robot. Okay, I have to do some fire hydrant -y things. That's cool. And then click on save. All right, and now this is the account. Now keep in mind, I've put this as an admin. So now if I actually come to settings inside of it, you'll notice that I don't actually have all of the settings inside of a regular settings account. So as you can see on the, on my personal account, I've got loads of different things inside of here. However, because I am an admin on a sub account, I actually don't get the full list of features inside of it. Now also to confuse you a little bit more at the top, we now have a little drop down, and every time you add a new member as a team, they actually also get their own system account as well so this isn't the sub account it's automatically created that user a sub account as well so kind of confusing right now but the issue here that i can see is people are wanting to actually create a system sub account and maybe they want to either have it as some of their clients things like that but you'll if you create an account for a client under your main admin account as a sub account they're not going to get the full range of features so this kind of defeats the purpose of it. So what is the purpose of having all of these sub accounts if you have to stay as the admin and only you can have all of the main features? And honestly, the way I'm looking at it is if you are someone like an affiliate or if you run multiple brands, this is perfect. You can have all of these different accounts inside of one place, but keep all the information separate. You could have say a brand with all of your contacts funnels b brand with all of your contacts funnels on a separate sub account and the same with c but as someone trying to actually sell accounts to clients or create accounts for clients they're not going to have the same features inside of system as they normally would if they joined directly so kind of confusing a little bit annoying but i believe this is probably going to change over time at the moment this is exactly what it is 
I'd like to see also in future a way you could actually sell the accounts, but there's no automations or anything for it just now. So this is perfect if you run multiple brands, if you're hoping for client accounts, it's not quite there just yet. But hopefully that's sort of cleared the air a little bit, given you a little bit of insight and hopefully save you some time. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit thumbs up, smash subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.